All right, so I want to address this issue of was Judas saved? Um, it, it, it's very clear, but let's read the let's read the Bible. Huh? How about that? Uh, if you go to John chapter seventeen, and uh, Jesus is saying, "While I was with them in the world, I kept them in my in Thy name." Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Now this is in reference to Judas, and he's saying that of all the disciples that he was given, he, none of them are lost, except the son of perdition. Now he's not saying that um, none of them have I lost he's saying none of them is lost in other words Judas was not saved and then lost his salvation he was never saved to begin with All right. again it's not saying none of them have I lost he's saying none of them is lost and that's important so if we go to uh, of all that thou hast given me, I should lose nothing. So in here in John chapter six. So you can't say that Judas was saved and then Jesus lost him, because that would be a direct contradiction with what we're reading here in John six, verse thirty nine. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. Judas was never saved. That's why it's very important to understand this is saying, none of them have I lost, but it's saying none of them is lost. But the son of perdition is lost. He was there to fill a role that the scripture might be fulfilled. Pretty simple stuff. But I'm telling you, people uh, teach differently. They do.